Hey, Chuck Harstenson, 2024 Real Estate Shift Show, number 26. And today I want to talk about new construction versus purchasing existing homes. And this is coming up because a lot of times I'll have buyers who you know, get pre-approved and their pre-approval is not what they want. This is the main reason this is coming up. And then they say, hey, you know, maybe I won't look for an existing home. I'll get a new home. Or obviously right now, there's still not a ton of inventory for a lot of what people are looking for. So then, well, there's nothing out there. So maybe I should build one instead of buy one. And that's great. You could build instead of buy. And that is one part of creating inventory if builders build one. The challenge I always find is many, many people think, hey, maybe it's cheaper to build. And I don't know in 2024, if there's any scenario where your similar search criteria, it's more affordable to build. It's normally more expensive to build, obviously, because everything's new. So that is one of the main differences of purchasing new construction versus existing homes. Typically, if you're looking for something and getting a new lot and hooking up to city sewer and hooking it up to a well and septic if it's in the country, all that costs way more than just if the home is already there, ready to go. Obviously, that home there ready to go isn't new and might need some updates. So there are many, many reasons to build a new home. But in general, if you think it's going to be more affordable, cost less money to build a home, most likely if you found your existing home in your search criteria, it's going to be much more affordable than building a home. Not that new construction is not an option. Definitely make it an option. Just not what a lot of people think. It's not going to be more affordable. So. Hope that helps. We'll probably talk more about this in the future as well. Chuck Carstensen, Carstensen team, Remax Results.